Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss about the operations on radicals. The first thing we're going to do is how to add and subtract radicals. All right, so the rule that we're going to follow is that they must have the same radicands and indexes in order for radicals to be combined. So this inside is your radicand and this is your index. The radicand includes the exponent as well. All right, so for our first example, we are going to add and combine square root of 50, square root of 72, minus, uh, so this is add and then minus the square root of 200. For us to be able to do this, we need to simplify them one by one and if their indexes and the radicands are the same, then we can combine. If not, then we could not combine. So let's investigate this. Okay, let's go ahead and do the prime factorization. So 50 is 25 times 2. We're going to circle 2 because 2 is already a prime number. And then we're going to break the 25. Another shortcut is if we're able to generate a perfect square, then we know that that, is, that can be generated as a square root. So this is already like a perfect square, but I am still showing you that since the index here is a 2, then you're using, two, you're using 5 as a factor twice. So that's what you're looking for. Whatever is the index is the number of times that you're using that number as a factor for multiplying for itself. All right, let's go ahead and fix this first. So now this 5, since they are pairs, will already go out of the square root sign. Whenever it goes out, it turns to just one piece of 5 because the square root of 25 is a 5. So once again, whenever you see a pair and the index is a 2, which is a square root, you're going to take it out. So 50 is simplified as 5 square root of 2. All right, so let's work on 72 and get the prime factorization. 72 can be broken as 2 times 36 and circle the 2 because that's already prime. And that is going to be 36 is now going to be 6 times 6. Now, we can do the shortcut here and I can already like take this out because that is already a pair and what we're looking for, as I said, that's an index of 2. We are not required to put it. It is understood to be a 2 there if you don't see any number. However, for some of you that are still struggling and trying to understand this, I may need to really show you how this boils down to the getting the prime factor. So although for some of you, I know that you can already understand that this goes out of the radical sign, I still want to show this to you by generating the prime factors. All right, so for this one, the prime factors are two and three. So we can now circle those. And when we generate this, it's the same two times 3. And then as we did with our 50, we're going to go back to the radical and put them all there and see which one goes in pairs. All right. So this one is for the 72. And we have 2 times 2 times 2. So three of them as factors and then two of the threes. So there you go. This three will go out because they are pairs. This pair of two will go out and then there's one two that's not gonna go out because it has no pair. So how will that look like is this. All right, so let's go ahead and explain what just happened. So now 72, we did the prime factorization. All the prime factors went inside. We looked for pairs. So this is a pair, so that's that. It went out. So this is a pair and it went out. Take note, whenever it goes out, it just becomes, so inside is a two, but whenever it goes out, it's a, it just one piece. So one piece of two, one piece of three. Now let me explain why that is so. So let's go back here. Please understand that two times two is four and the square root of four is a two. Let's go back here. 3 times 3 is a 9, and the square root of 9 is a 3. Now, this has no perfect square because it's by itself, so it stays inside. 
we're already seeing a pattern here. The indexes are the same. So that's uh, square root and square root. And the radicand is the same, which is a 2 inside. Let us now go ahead and generate the prime factors of 200. All right, for this particular part, I'm going to ask you to stretch your brain a little bit and we are not going to generate the prime factors, at least for this example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point you out to 100. Please understand that 100 is a perfect square and the square root of 100 is 10. So what's going to happen is 10 goes out of the radical sign and the 2 stays inside, making it look like this. All right, so for this one, that's now going to be square root of 100, which is a 10, and the 2 stays inside because it's not a perfect square. All right, there you go. We're almost finished. We're now going to be able to combine them all. Now, we will just have to fix this, and 2 times 3 is a 6. All right, so what I did was I copied this down, so that's 5 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2 minus 10 square root of 2 and all we will have to do now is to operate on this from left to right because gem does indicates that if it's just plus or minus you operate from left to right so 5 plus 6 is 11 square root of 2 minus 10 that's going to be 1 square root of 2 or simply square root of 2 all right so 11 minus 10 is 1 and this is just like x you know you just copy it down understand that there's a one there that i'm not required to put but if that will help you to see then you can put it okay so that's one square root of two or simply square root of two all right so now we go to example number two that is 3x cube root of 24x squared minus cube root of 81x to the fifth. Notice that the index this time is a 3. So what you're looking for is that the number or the variable has to form sets of 3 in the sense of being a factor when you multiply by itself. So let's begin the extraction. Circle the 3 because that is prime. Extract the prime factors of 8, which is 2 times 4. Circle the 2 because that is prime. Extract the prime factors of 4, which is 2 times 2. Circle them all and put them all back in the radical. Copy this all down, but the ones inside, the 24 now turns to all these prime numbers. Copy down the 3x, which is the coefficient of the radical. Copy the cube root symbol. And then put the 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 inside, including the x squared and then now we are going to analyze since the index is a 3 we need sets of 3 so therefore this will go out so the cube root of 2 2 2 is a 2 and this will stay inside because they're not perfect square let's take a look at the 3 it has no more 3 other 3 in there so that stays this is just 2 x's this is just x times x you need sets of 3 so this is not a perfect cube root so it stays inside the radical as well okay so this 2 2 2 2 times 2 times 2 goes out and it will just be one piece of 2 we copy the 3 x down and copy all the rest all right so that is it the only part that's missing is multiplying 2 by 3 which will be a 6x cube root of 3x squared and so now we're going to work on this one so let's go ahead and generate the prime factors of 81 9 times 9 further extract circle the 3 and the 3 extract the prime factors of the other 9 which is 3 times 3 and circle them put them all back inside the radical sign and make sure to expand the x to the fifth power in order for you to see sets of 3. So we know that 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And x to the fifth power is x times x times x times x times x. And we're now going to again cluster them as 3. So this 3 right here is a perfect cube root. And it goes out of the radical sign. This is also a perfect cube root, and it goes out of the radical sign. Copy the minus sign, 
you will now have 3x. The 3 is from here and the x is from here. All right, please don't be confused by that. That's an index. That's not an exponent for the x. So that's an index for this radical. And then what stays inside is 3x squared. All right, so perfect. We can now operate on this because they have the same indexes and they have the same radicand. So what we're going to do is just operate on the coefficients. All right, so this part right here is your 6x. I copy this down and then minus copy this down. All right, so now we can operate on this. And please understand that they, these are now like terms. So because you have the same indexes and radical, this is just like treated like an x. So this is just uh, 6x minus 3x. That's all you operate. And then you copy this down. And the answer here is 3x cube root of 3x squared. Okay, guys, so this is just part one of the operations on radicals. I'm going to release another video on part two in order for us to discuss about multiplying and dividing.